These two foam gimbals by far are my favorite ones I use throughout the whole year. We have the super portable and compact vlog pocket from Fayutech, and we have the super easy to use gimbal from DJI, the Osmo Mobile 3. Both of these gimbals do have their strengths and weaknesses. I'm gonna talk about who they are for and when I will use them in what situation. First off, let's talk about the Mobile 3. When I'm using it, I can already tell the motors are much more stronger so I can get smoother shots than the Vlog Pocket. Since the Mobile 3 is physically bigger, it feels more comfortable in the hands. It doesn't feel like it's a hassle to get to your buttons or joystick. If you do plan on using the record button a lot, it is much more comfortable using it on the Mobile 3 than the Vlog Pocket. And if you turn it off or go in standby mode, it auto folds itself to the point where all you need to do is one motion one push down to fold it and that's it and i find that part to be the most convenient because on a vlog pocket you would have to manually lock all the access so that does take time now moving on to the vlog pocket the small size is the best feature of this gimbal it's so small it can fit almost anywhere i would say it can fit in your side pockets but to be honest it's uncomfortable if you're going to do that throughout the day so if you do have those shorts with those um, bigger pockets like those cargo shorts that is is like the perfect spot for this gimbal. When you're out in public and you don't want to be seen or noticed, the vlog pocket is probably the best option since it's super small. Versus the Mobile 3, it sticks out, it's much more bigger. For the ergonomics, I would say it feels really cramped. It's uncomfortable to use the button since it's so small and you would have to reposition your hand or the gimbal to actually reach for the record button. So I do find tapping on a screen to record is much more easier and faster and more comfortable than just reaching for the record button. I do get random jerks from the gimbal if I'm panning or tilting in a weird way but that's something to consider about this gimbal. Now moving to the camera apps I would say the Feiyu Tech app is much more cleaner and easier to use so more beginner friendly would go towards the Feiyu Tech app whereas the DJI mobile one is still easy to use more features and a lot more um, easier to get into your settings or faster to get to your settings. So who are these gimbals for and why? I would say the DJI Mobile 3 is for the beginner to the advanced person who always want their shots to be perfect, who always wants to grab super cinematic shots. I would say the Mobile 3 because a lot of things they do on that gimbal is super convenient and super easy to do. Whereas the Vlog Pocket, I would say that one's more for vloggers who really just need their story who don't care about getting super cinematic shots. Yes, it will stabilize it enough to the point where it doesn't make their viewers head hurt because they see so much handheld movement, too much shakiness. So I would say the vlog pocket is something that's more useful for them because they're gonna bring this everywhere. They're gonna vlog everywhere. So I would say, um, being that super small, super portable, compact gimbal, you can bring this almost anywhere. So I would say for the vlogger, the hardcore vlogger, the vlog pocket, the super cinematic person, or a very beginner, um, than the Mobile 3. So I think those are the differences between these two gimbals and who they are for. I do have links down below for you guys to check out if you guys are interested. Please follow me on Instagram, subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.